the country needs to be healed. Mark Brantley and the opposition need to accept their loss and let us continue our march forward as a united people. Just let it just like, as people just say, let's sleep in that light. Those who observed the elections indicated that the elections were fair, the people were able to make a fair and unchallenged decision as to who would lead them and who would serve them, and they have done exactly that. It's working. It's working. Here work. Uh, Madam President, let me say this, you know, we're not having an election next year. We don't have, a, we don't have we're going to win the case. The case is clear. It's quite clear. And supporters of this government, don't get worried. This government is not going anywhere and anywhere soon. We in the CCM have said that we respect the courts. We have always been a party of decency. And we will continue to be that party of decency. And we intend to respect whatever decision his lordship arrives at. We welcome him and we ask only that the usual wisdom that guides our judiciary continues to guide our judiciary. I am not prepared to say anything else now. You, you can call me after the case finish. I am also one of the drafters of our present constitution and I know how the preamble starts off that we believe in a democratic society and with free and fair elections and certainly that was not the intention of the constitution with which I am associated. The people of the region will be looking at our courts to bring some semblance of justice to the situation and to be a part of maintaining democracy in our society. I worked in court for 17 solid years and I know what they have done and they will feel and see the enormity of the offense they have committed so far. It's bad, it's outrageous. Taking names out, they should not have done it in any way, but they have done it and they will now see the judgment and the judgment is coming fast. I can't wait. Why there's only one justice? If something wrong, if something wrong, it should be justified by correcting it. Whichever party wins power, it shows a reluctance to leave office and would seek to retain itself in power by whatever means they consider necessary. These are the changes that we are trying to cope with. And I think that if we look at um, if we look at the second 30-year period of the 60-year period which we are talking about, we are going to find that these are the issues which one would have to try to resolve. It may make no sense because sometimes the court is on the government side, so it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the judges or the magistrate, whoever, is on the government side. So it makes no sense to just, just waste the money then. Just leave it alone until the next election, then you deal with it again. So most of the same thing happens in the next election. You're just done with it. <laughs> you can. No one can help. <laughs> I find, I find, I find. I listen to it, I listen to everything, and I find Matt Grantley had one.